Whatever you're doing, you drop it. Whatever hey guys, and then Game 10 Master Doe here, and welcome to yet another part of my Let's Play of SSX3. In the last part, we completed all the race events, and now that we completed all the race events and the freestyle events, we are going to go and start the boss events. So, um, right now, I'm just going to start with the boss freestyle event, the Ruthless Jam. I think that's what it's called. I hope that's what it's called. But, um... We're going to be facing Nate, since he is the boss rider of Peak 2. So, let's get started. Now, I'm just going to warn you, prepare for some epic fails in the next following videos. There was number one. Because, I don't know, I just really failed while doing these runs. Like... I still got into first place, I still got a good run, it just didn't work. See, there's another fail. Prepare for a ton of fails. And not just in the freestyle challenges, but also in the race challenges. That's where I fail the most. Funny how that works. And I played this game like, maybe a week ago, since I last recorded, so it shouldn't have been a problem for me, I just don't know why. But, um, yeah, third fail. I, ch I challenge you, I challenge you viewers to see how many fails you can count. Put them in the comment bo box below, and if you get it right, I'll give you a cookie. Yeah, a cookie. That's all I can give you. Yeah, that's like my fourth time crashing. <laughs> It's quite uh, amusing. But I still do pretty well. I mean, for peak two, anyways. But I could have just done a lot better on these runs. I just didn't want to redo them because I did good enough. And, you know, it was first place the whole time. I got, I got a gold medal in each boss event, so I was like, whatever. Oh, and these boss events are gonna take like six to eight videos long. Just because of how long they end up being. And even though this one is gonna be short, you know, I have to keep it underneath a certain amount of time because my computer is really messed up and it won't take anything. Actually, YouTube is messed up. I still have that um, memory problem where if I have over. 300 megabytes of data, it won't upload for some reason. I don't know why. I don't want to take the chance again in wasting two hours trying to upload a video that fails. So I'm just going to be safe and upload this five minute video instead. But anyways, back to the gameplay. I've been talking about that for like three minutes. Which isn't a bad thing. You know, it's commentary. Anyways, about the boss events. For the freestyle boss events, you want to stick to logs that give you big air. And, oh crud. Ah, ow, yep, yeah, I fail. You want to stick to logs because they give you the most air when you're not at a jump. And they're, sa they're the safest route without crashing in into anything. But, um, yeah, just take logs. I didn't do it in this video because I didn't realize how how useless logs are. In fact, in Ruthless, the backcountry, logs are just amazing in the boss events. Because if you're on a freestyle event, they give you big air. And if you're in a race event, it gives you a shortcut. Or all logs give you shortcuts, so... It's a win-win situation, so take logs, people. Take logs. That sounds pretty strange. But anyways, I win first place. And I, I dominated still, even though I failed so many times. So, uh, yeah, that was the first boss event. Freestyle. So, I'm gonna go to the next video. So, comment, rate, 
and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.